guilty of overreacting? No, I get it. The professor was a little out of line back there. A little? John was so far past the line, he's gonna need a visa to get back across. What really went down back there? Sounds bad. This woman emerged from the fog. She looked just like me. I mean, exactly. She spoke and dressed differently, but somehow she was me. What does it mean, seeing people who look like you? I have no idea. I am walking away from this godforsaken place if I can. Feel free to join me. All right. Not walk into me, please. Thank you. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. She what just I told you to what she saw. Away from here. <laughs> she literally just told you what she saw. I'm sure it's nothing. Know. Why do... All these no people have their own flashlights, but they individually don't the use them at times. That's weird. It's a school. Yeah, let's stay away from the school. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh oh. What just happened? I don't know. We lost or something. Wasn't there something shiny over here? At that sign there? So I was trying to walk to. Oh, I won't let you leave. I guess this is what it's doing. But why have the shiny over there then? Alright. We're going into the creepy uh, school. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Maybe I went a little overboard back there. Coming this way doesn't seem to be such a great idea now. Maybe you could show a little more patience with the rest of us. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me for wanting out of this nightmare. We've just got to suck it up and move on. We're not done yet. We'll find another way. I literally just tried going this way. Oh, now it'll let me go this way? Where is the bar? This is from 1962, so the bar might not be here, but. I don't see anything that says tavern or something. Utaho Bridge. Playground this way. My grant. Run into the little girl. Big house. Go check out the house. Let me 
go back to the gate. All right, fair enough. I thought maybe that gate opens. I heard a, it sounded like a gate opening. Maybe it was a swing or something. Sun and moon was something that was we read in that one book. Reminds me of the um, Wendigo from Until Dawn, the way it moves. It's like two people praying. Or at least the guy's praying. I don't know what the the female's doing, the girl. Well, I guess she's supposed to be just praying too. Can you not get so close, please? Like you two, I'm investigating. Hey, there you go. Get caught on the benches. Literally, they're stuck. Because the old lady won't move. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. Plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. So... If you needed to get away, wouldn't you go back the way you came and not 
keep pressing forward <laughs> into the unknown. Why am I the only one all of a sudden with a light? Yes! Is that how she's gonna die? Cool. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> Shut up, old lady. mean someone's around maybe they can help let's head over here need a hand no That was the stupidest QTE. <laughs> I don't think this takes us out of the shit. Just point it out. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must be somewhere. Though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Stop that the Raven factory well. closure. A rabbit in maybe factory whatever. Well, they lost all their jobs. Everybody went AWOL. What are we doing? We should get going. I don't know. Just cool it for a second, will you? I don't want to yeah. cool it. I want to get Shut out of here. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so we can get up here. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Wait, what? I thought we were just going to look at it and then we are going to use it. Hold on. Go back down again. <laughs> Something over there I want to look at. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. We'll do. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. And another pointless quick time event. <laughs> I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. I don't know. Just get in here. Relax. Get your panties in a bunch. I uh, notice a closure. June. 28th, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its customers uh, for the support over the years. Yours, Jay Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. 
Stock to remove. Magazines, cans, electrical goods. Everything else is crossed out. Okay. There's a light switch. Turn it on? No. I don't even want to try it. I doesn't even want to try the light switch. <laughs> Premonition looks like. Hmm. So also we need a knife. Local minister arrested. Harold from 1873. The local minister arrested. A uh, minister in the uh, Diocese of Pleasant River has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. Eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church of Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at the Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesman from St. David's commented, commented uh, I never seen a minister do anything uh, untoward. Uh, his interest in witchcraft was purely academic, and he would often warn parents of spiritual dangers of the occult. Another passioner uh, who will who did not wish to be named, claimed that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. The child is known as an attention seeker, and I'm certain she is, and she made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. District Attorney's Office did not respond to calls. When contacted, the Office of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated that the bishop had declined to comment, uh, but that a deacon. Um, Anyone there? I hope not. Someone behind you, though. Look like I saw faint eyes in the background. A figure. Pull your finger out of your ass and open the goddamn door. Uh. Oh shit! I saw X and press it and realize what was going on. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass, useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Yeah, it's not them this time.
Will you relax? I'm coming. Damn, they just want you to open this fucking door. Well, something's gonna happen. Here we go. about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? You talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Priest. Deacon, whoever. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy. What? I don't know you. John. Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John too? Well, look-alike right. Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. It's a spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This is ridiculous. There are no witches, never have been. What kind of people accuse others of that kind of crap? The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. He looks friendly. think um. let's take a look around 
See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. This guy's got a reason for everything, doesn't he? No matter what the comments are. In here someplace. Scared. Had a hard time even kind of seeing exactly what I was looking at first. Yeah, can you walk out the door? There you go. Search this room a little bit more. Alright, let's go back in there. Lost everything. One thing I don't really care for with these games is they want you to see what they want you to see. So it's like when you turn the camera and the flashlight in there. I don't really get a good idea of what's going on in some of the locations because the lighting just doesn't focus on the area. It's like screw what you want to look at, only only look at what we want we want yeah, with what we want to look at. Nah, nobody's dead yet. <sighs> On my way, sir. Do where we going? Old witch gal. Real nice. Uh, there were in a little hope witch trials when the accused were imprisoned here. Okay. There's got to be something. I don't want you to look. I know I'm looking. <clears throat> oh, what are you doing? Pick it up. Let me see. Hippies autograph or what? Artifacts.
We have a winner. Found a phone. Yeah, try it. All right, it doesn't work. This could be our way out. Mm hmm. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Oh yeah, like it's still gonna be intact. The rest of this place is all decrepit. <laughs> Why would the phone line be uh, be still in good shape? Keep looking. No shit. Certificate of accommodation. Presented to Little Hope Police Department. On January 16th, 1972, Officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, uh, Right before the fire service, the officers with no concern. What is that? Hello? I was reading it. <laughs> what do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Hello? Who is this? You need to engage. Say something to him. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. What the f Here you go. I would speak with you. Cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. 
My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will see the truth of it. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Taylor. Hey, Professor. 
Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. What the hell does it mean that she's here? She can't be real. She has to be a manifestation. Oh, I mean, forgot the reason she's here is because you're here. You got a better explanation? I don't have an explanation. John says witch trials really happened right here in Little Hope. He's right. I think they did. Then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before I got here. So how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation. Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all. Alright, well we noticed they all have flashlights. At one point, none of them are going to have flashlights, watch. <laughs> Hey, I can actually walk up to a house off the side of the road now. Ah, premonition. Little Hope Police Department. So a policeman locked up the driver. How'd you get over here so fast? <laughs> Alright, let's go into the creepy Bates Hotel over here. Uh, you wanna go up? Go up, sir. Oh, pfft. Visible wall. How convenient. Tilly Johnson. To look around. No, oh, whatever. A promising young author died tragically after writing her first novel. Okay. It probably has some significance somehow. Hey, we're back at the bridge again. Or a bridge. Why would our bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. No surprise there. Yeah, see. So Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. Where's the old lady at? Damn it. <laughs> push her. Push her to the left. Can't see for shit. Jesus. Ow. 
can you not see that? I mean, I've seen that before they even walked onto the bridge. How can they not see it? Oh, Christ. Quick time events coming up. Who's gonna die? Okay. Who's first up? Hmm. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. How come... No matter what people say... The relationship status constantly goes down. It's like rarely ever goes up. That's good job jumping, asshole. Sixteen hundred and ninety-two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? What? Why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Orp is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you play from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. Will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. If Lil Hope has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a cute. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. Be your very thing. Isaac. Could have held your breath for at least five seconds. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. Get the fuck off the bridge. That'd be my f first line of thinking. <laughs> Oh, 
or black screen. Okay. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> I thought he was jumping in the water. Okay, you two, get on down here. Leave her behind. Give me a hand here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm coming back for you. Hold on. How it was like right against the wall, now it's back by the water again. It's still crawling. We'll let her live for a little longer. <laughs> oh yeah, woo! That was really close. Worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated. That gun might prove to be a lifesaver, don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew is keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> the boys have some interesting theories. Keeping her alive to see where the story goes. Other than that, I don't really give a shit. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. Yep. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed me thought the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? <clears throat> I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted. You're going it alone. Brave. Independent. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. I like to live. Go on then. Dangerous. <laughs> terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. The hints really aren't, oh, excuse me, aren't really hints anyway, so. Kind of irrelevant. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? 
the gaping mouth, those dead souls you. and eyes. Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. I don't know how, but I really stepped up and saved my own ass back there. You did good. You did real good. You were going to tell me right now what happened to my double on that bridge. We need to focus on what we're doing now, not on what's already behind us. You two the Brotherhood of Silence now? The poor fragile woman can't take it? Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get behind them. Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. Fuck that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Exit my ass. End up. Let's get out of here. Trying to see where the chain goes. So, <clears throat> so pass. That dude's got like metal. Let's stay away from that bridge. And so I wonder if that's supposed to be the uh, the older the older dude. Or thing as we can. Pretty the sure fell and got be thinking the same thing. Um, speared at the very beginning of the game. I'm on the fence post. Like quick. thing I don't like about that sequence is I can't get the look at the TV screen like I gotta look at the prompts so I can't like look what's going on around during that scene I don't like that shit they replaced the motion controls with that I guess because the motion controls were finicky and until dawn but I don't know if that was a great solution for it. Little, the little girl has to be stopped. Was she warning you or the people who were with her? I couldn't tell. Come on, let's go. Back at the house again. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? How am I holding up? Let's see, a radioactive mutant gargoyle tried to scarf down our classmates. Our leader, the professor, has turned into a boy scout. We're stuck in a creepy little shithole town with fuck you up fog. And there are way out of date wackos talking witchy bullshit all over. <sighs> I'm real good. How about you? Truth be told, I'm hey, still shaking up a little from the crash. How you doing today? <laughs> How could I forget? We were in a bus wreck too. Gets better and better. Good to hear. <clears throat> What's that noise? Didn't hear anything. Good. 
Perpetual Hope, Historical Trail, the Witch Trail. It's that way. So let's not go that way. <laughs> let's go the other way. But no, let's go toward the Witch Trail. Don't think there is another way. The devs didn't give us an option. <laughs> let's take it or leave it. <laughs> You are here. Quite the tour Tony Johnson trail. Memorial. Not a place I want to revisit. Massacre Memorial. That sounds really refreshing. Bird's eye view of the historical town. Uh, school was back at two. The bar buffet was one. Police stations three. The cemetery is where the other people are. That's four. So looks like they're approaching the town center, which would be five. Right, let's go. Trying to. Trying to see if there's markings on it. There is some markings on the tree, but I guess it's nothing. Yeah, it's the one thing that's a little. I, uh, I don't really like what this game is. They want you to see what they want you to see. You can't really. Hey, over here. I'll see. You gotta check this out. Explore in this game. The lighting just doesn't allow you to see shit. If, unless it's that something they want you to specifically here. see. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going to However, this is a vast you improvement over the previous game. Litter, you lead. I'm not crossing this crap out Yeah, way. Leonard's no story. Yeah. To find the others we got across. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across. You can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay then. Time to QTE. Or not. We're good. Creepy person. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm no uh, rocket scientist over here or anything, but. The other thing is, I don't know. It... You see this? Like, Until Dawn, I hate to keep comparing to that game, but Until Dawn, because you have to, because it's the first one they made, right? Um, they had, like, if you actually move the flashlight off to the left for just any, you know, completely abrupt reason, there might be an owl or something that'll give you a jump scare, but if you don't look over in that direction, you don't see the jump scare, right? This game, there's just, like, none of that. It's just... If you, if they want you to see it, you're gonna see it. There's like no hidden obstacles, I guess. That's the thing. Like um, when I say like um, when I say it's linear, that's kind of what I mean. It's kind of like it, they took a step back from the uh, uh, I don't know. I don't I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I think you guys you need an idea of what I'm saying, but it just feels like it's missing something. Which made the other game feel a little bit more genuine, I guess. Uh, Witchgrave. Uh, this stone is believed to mark the burial place of the first person ex executed during the Little Hope Witch Trials. So, like, for example... Well... Let's give a second. Get out of here. <laughs> get your hands off us. And that is getting overdone and overused it's not scary anymore <laughs> the 
Dubious on souls. That little kid is the evil here? I don't I don't get it. My beloved Amy proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If his evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. Very high. I found him. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hands. I take it to protect you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's the other girl with the short hair. No one is safe. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. <laughs> it's like a, a lost MacGuffin in this storyline. Why can't you leave us alone? Yeah, fuck off you little shit. I think she wants us to go after her. <laughs> yeah, let's go after her. Follow her. She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. Two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. I like how this guy just has an answer for fucking everything. <laughs> Doesn't even take two seconds to think about the question. And they just keep going along with the guy. I love it. <sighs> hey, wait for us. Uh oh. What are you worried about a crow for? Well, oh, no, your shoes. Guys? You there? Oh. oh, God, why? I hate how they changed that shit. Analog stick thing is so annoying. And the fact you gotta use the right analog stick when every other thing you're moving in the game is the left. It's so distraught. Uh, I just... I can't express how agitating it is. I don't know if you played these games before, but... Because... The entire game, you're telling me to use the left analog stick to move everything in this game. And finally, there's a, a thing where you got to use the right analog stick, and your mind's already set on using the left out of the box. So by the time you're like, oh no, wrong analog stick, the sequence is over. It's so... Uh, I don't know. Man. <clears throat> it, it, it's it's draw, uh, drawing or drawing, whatever the hell the fuck the word is. It's just... 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta imagine it'd be different. It have to. It'd have to be somewhat different with even with the mouse and keyboard. I would think because they're they're expecting you to use two different controls. But it's just. So the next time it happens, I'm gonna fail again, I can tell you already. Like, I just know it. Angela! Shit! No! What did she do to deserve that? Well, she ain't dead yet. It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. <laughs> it's like how he's just so mellowed out and shit. No, no bit of empathy, no bit of concern, nothing. We're in a word. We're left by our souls. Um, no QTE for that. Everything else was. Yeah, well, the biggest problem for me anyway, getting back to the whole analog stick, is you cannot remap the controls. And it's irritating. Because I would just simply this place is a remap museum, that prompt to the left analog stick and I would be happy with it. Relax. Doesn't feel right. I can't be the only person that's played these games and not had the same opinion. What just happened to Angela? You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Oh Christ! There's fucking mannequins in this place. The fuck? Why is the kid out here on her own? It's strange. The New England Witch Trials. Gotta be. Though how and why I'm not sure. Only seven ninety nine. Act fast. Get it while they're still in stock. <laughs> Is it gonna open it? No. All right. So nothing to read in that one. See, for example, this is what I was talking about. Like, I can move the camera or the flashlight everywhere. It takes shit. Like the focusing. Is so direct. They want you to look at the photograph, kind of thing. Like, it just seems like, if I recall anyway, from playing until dawn, you just had more freedom with with what you wanted to look at, what you wanted to explore or investigate. Like this, it's just like here it is. Look at this. Don't look at anything else. Uh, the writ of forfeiture, unreadable. This right, I guess. Is served by the Board of Selection on the 17th, the 7th, uh, 7th day of January, 1692, by Unreadable, you are ordered to Unreadable to, uh, Caricates the Land, Unreadable, but Western River and Leafy Hill, all dwellings upon the land shall be vacated, all livestock, Unreadable, uh, all for forfeit and of their old contract, this defrays the cost of England to sum of the twenty pounds, seven shillings, and six pence, and ends all between the families. Uh, readable is granted a right of petition this order, but must appear at the town hall before the board of selection seven days. Okay. Oh, so, okay, so he is going to allow me to open this door. Or at least try to, anyway. Alright. Looked at that. Of course, all the doors are locked. The fuck? Like, come on. Like, flashlight. Only the person. I want to look at at it. This is the problem I'm having with this shit. Jesus. <laughs> the controls is just... It's 
like, fuck you, just keep walking. It's not important. You know, you know, I want to look at stuff. Yo, buddy. That's not cool. <laughs> thought that was a mannequin holding the uh, lighter at first. Negative. Disturbing. It creeped the hell out of me. You know what I find disturbing? It creeps the hell out of me when it comes to mannequins in general. They never make, hardly ever do they make them with a face. Then even if they do, like, why is it either way? Like, why do you give them a face? Or why don't you give them a face? That's what I always find disturbing with mannequins. And they're always a horror cliche. <laughs> you drowned. Chained and drowned. No, I mean in real life, like department stores and stuff. Like, they're all like this. Some have faces, but rarely do they. They mostly never have faces. And there's the little doll that the girl's been carrying around. The puppet. Enclosed puppet or doll hey, is take a look at this. trying to reach. God damn it. <laughs> it's like they want you to speed read. It looks like the girl, the lady that got drowned. Where? Little girl on the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. What the fuck makes him say that? Look at it another way. Maybe by burning her precious things, it's just gonna piss the kid off. You might be right. <laughs> it's just, I. Uh, the tone of the 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 two adult characters are like a huge turn off to me. He's so, you know, objective in his approach and what is. You know, what his demeanor is, all of a sudden he just questions it. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> it's like, all right. So, then why, uh, why the. I don't know. The tones just feel off. Depend, I guess it depends on what the response is that you make. Jump scare? No. <gasps> I can't. Crossed our paths again. Again, we're cursed. Where's that painting? The f cat flashlight would go. We saw that one already. That fucking radio? TV? What the fuck is that right on the Would you back up and look at the fucking television? <laughs> My god. Would you please let me put the flashlight? Thank you. It's a television. I just want to see if it was a television or radio. Like, come on. Would you allow me to look at shit? <laughs> we can get out this way. Hey. 
Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. <coughs> Job done. I'm not sure about that. I wonder why they call it a puppet anyway. Why don't they call it a voodoo doll? Well, I guess you are different. Perhaps. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. Yeah, let's walk around without the flashlight on for a little while. Why not? You hear that? Maybe. Nope. Heard something. God damn not it. Sure just, what. Just, just let Professor? Angela die or whatever her name is. Is that you in there? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could Look, be. I can't even look back at the Imagine grading if I wanted to. It's like... Me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak. Alright. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah. I guess you're right. All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. <laughs> All right. My whole question at this point is... All these fucking places have been creepy as shit. Why the fuck would you want to go in them at this point? Like, haven't you learned your lesson from the previous ones? <laughs> Just, like, go around the house and keep walking? <laughs> Is that important to get in here? Let's try this one over here. Uh... Door, please. What are, you, what are you doing, dude? Door. There you go. Well, shit. Flashlight. See, I, I want to look, let's see what's back here. And I can't. There it goes. Alright, so you trash can. Dumpster. Why there's a dumpster back there, I have no idea. And a dumpster here. <laughs> Couldn't, like, place... Like, why would a house have a dumpster unless it's not an actual house? Not getting through this way. Well, you're not getting through the other way either. No, it's just there, basically for invisible wall bullshit. But I'm just saying, if you look at the rest of the scenery, like okay, you got a stagecoach here. It's abandoned. The house looks like it's check what out. I don't know how old, centuries old. But you have two dumpsters. <laughs> just oh yeah. yeah, and that's ten bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the huh? bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. Okay, then why stop and tell her that? Why don't you just do it? <laughs> Get her yeah, approval or something? Who goes in first. But we both know Rock, paper, that. scissors? Right. Sure thing. I just don't get the point. Why? What the fuck? Fuck you, mannequins. What is the purpose of going in these places? Funny. Get your ass in here. 
Uh, you gotta open a door for her, please. First door. She's gotta climb through the window. I don't know. Come on. This way. Christ. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. <laughs> What's up? I just... I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. Who am I controlling right now? Nobody. <laughs> Do we need a jump scare? Girl. Or someone's gonna grab his arm again. Turn around, turn around. Look at the Okay. Where are you? I already looked at all this shit. She went this way. Is that you? Taylor? Door's still locked, okay. Taylor! You okay? What's going on? Uh, gotta turn the handle as you push, dude. Just, just saying. <laughs> How? How could you jar the door open without at least turning the handle as he's doing it? Sorry I wasn't there for you. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. I, I find the humor because it's like, why the fuck did you come in here in the first place? It's just, <laughs> let's get out of here now. <laughs> like, what else were you expecting? It's just, whatever. <laughs> For display only. Fuck that, I'm taking it. Found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once. When dinosaurs roamed the earth. Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self defense. Hmm. I'd rather she takes it. You take it. You know, just in case. Think we just keep the flashlight in front of them? I mean, that'd be great. Ooh, I see, I see boobies. They're mannequin. Stop! Wait, wait. Put the. There you go. 
Pornhub.com. All right, examine. Great. Got some running to do, I see. Try the door. No. All right, let's not let's not try that door. Uh, shit, girl, you need to move. I'm stuck. Literally, I'm stuck. Thank, thank you. I thought we were gonna have a problem there for a second. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on a second. The fuck was that? Fuck, I heard some... Sound like a body drop or something. Oh, we already looked at that. I need to look at that again. So where did... How did they not hear that? I mean, I heard it, but... How did they not hear it? Curiosity killed the cat, right? Alright, well. Oh, wait, was this door open before? I don't think it was. Oh, is where we got the knife, All right? Never mind. Yeah, so I was in the room. That wasn't open before. Flashlight in the head of you would be nice. Thank you. Thank you, most kindly. Uh, isn't there one missing? Oh, yeah, there it is. He fell. That must have been, or it could have been a noise anyway. I don't think I read this last time, did I? Nope. Ready for transfer, I think it said. I, Mary Milton, confess the truth of the wickedness I have witnessed. Before the Sabbath day, Mistress Amy died, did, uh, by the ash tree, commune with Black Samuel, a spirit in the form of a dog that spoke with the voice of a man. Then she spun three times around and agreed to serve the spirit and deliver the children of the village to it. Then she made a poppet and placed the spell upon it to curse those who would oppose her. These and divers foul things I have seen. So, Amy is bringing little kids to the tree. Okay. That's interesting. Ready for transfer. All right, so collections and characters. All right.
I don't know what the purpose of all this shit is. 